Send us the emoji where they're saying they're sleepy. They want more upbeat, crazy stuff. But let us know. Put me a tweet. If you've got any requests, chuck the requests in. I'll see if I can get them on. For those of you that have just joined us, we are live across London on 101.4 Flex FM. You can tweet us at Dapper Laughs if you want, because I've got mine in front of me, and he's got the at, at Fle- Flex FM UK on go. all the socials. Yeah, what's going on, man? Uh, not much. It's probably time, as much as you know, I hate plugging yeah. every single thing that you do. Yeah, yeah. Because, um, of course, we're back yes. this week, and we were not here last week. Why no. were we not here last week? We weren't here last week because we were at my premiere, my film premiere, Leicester Square. It was it was a star-studded event. We had Tom Hardy there. Um, um, okay, Tom Hardy wasn't there. There was <laughs> a couple of people from the old Love Island, I think. Yeah. Vanessa Phelps turned up. I think everyone that Gillian had McKeith. previously been kicked off Love Island was yeah, there. And it, yeah, um, lot, a lot of people. And then us, of course. No, but you know the what? The biggest names there at was, the venue. There, there, was some great, there was some great people that showed up. A lot of me, uh, a lot of me friends It was came. good to see Vapor there again. MC I, Vapor. Yeah, he's such a nice guy, man. I always cool. love, I love seeing Vapor. And he did say he promised come on, uh, to come on at some point. On the but show. But he's already booked in on Flex. I think he was here a couple of days he ago. He is, yeah. He, uh, yeah. He's already booked into like a number of shows, but he's, but he's going to come. But I thought we'd put a little bit of a twist on it. Yeah. Um, and we'd all rap. Right, so, so we'd all we'd all do freestyles or whatever. But anyway, that's many. Everyone, weeks to yeah, come. everyone knows many that I'm a bad boy MC, so we yeah. can do that. So listen, a couple of weeks ago when we was on the air, I said to the nation, I say the nation, the the hundred people that were watching us on live stream and whoever's listening on the radio, I said to them, what can you do for me? Because my cousin Jamie, he's he's never lost his V plates. He's a single lad. He's he's nearly. I make f- being single look like an art form. Yeah, he's nearly I've forty. Nearly perfected it. Yeah, nearly I mean, f- give me a break. He, whatever, but in all, you know, a good night for him is World of Warcraft, a, a sports <laughs> sock, and you know, that's all I'm saying. But anyway, so I said, can you send in pictures? We will take someone, one of you lovely sweethearts out there, can win a seat next to Jamie at the premiere of the film. We didn't have one. Lit- Literally single. nothing. Confirmed no fugly. No one. Confirmed fugly. We had absolutely no one that wanted to come. Uh, a lot of lads wanted to come along, but yeah, unfortunately... Yeah. Oh, no, we did have, uh, what, Foxy, Foxy, his lovely lady, yeah, said yeah. that he had a friend yes. that she was going to bring, and then caveated that with, literally, she will do anything yeah. for a ticket. But... Hold on. Don't... Yeah, wait, oh, wait. go on. We've got something very interesting that did happen. I'm going to play a song first. We're going to get back to it. I'm going to leave him in suspense. Right, okay. Because he did get... A very lucky lady along in the end, didn't you? She was very lucky. I did, yeah, yeah I did. She was very... You can find out who came to the premiere with my undateable cousin, <laughs> Jamie, straight after this. This is an old school one. Christy Waters, Gypsy Woman. La da dee, da da da. Dan, live on Flex FM. Yeah. And it makes me feel naughty. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So the Facebook got taken down again. Sony are really naughty because we license all the music, but it keeps dropping. So if you're on the Facebook, don't worry. It's back up and running. You can get on there. Big shout. Shout out to Tom Zanetti, my boy, that is now tuned in on uh, Instagram. Big up yourself. I'm just, I'm going to play your new song just because you're on there now. You don't know that, rude boy. So we're not looking a bad forward one, to that. To be honest, yeah, man, it's a, it's a good one. What you talk, yes, but would you say it's not a bad one? Didn't you introduce me to Tom Zanetti once? I think it was in that bar in Clapham or something, and you were like, Jamie, Jamie, I want you to meet this guy. No, no, this no. is Tom's. No, no, that was someone different. No, Tom Zanetti, don't go Clapham, mate. He's he's in, he's like IB for and all that. You're never se- I don't think he's ever been down that way. With no. Me. Okay. Okay. Uh, if God, you- see, that's how little I know, right? I'm yes, confusing him with some. But big else. shout out to Tom today. Sorry, tuned Tom. In. Ah, Sarah Sorry, Alexander Thomas. as well. Harry, Harry Penettle. Loads of people all on there. Hello, hello, hello. So let's let's tell them what happened last the week. The big reveal, right? Yeah. So uh, it, just in, just for those who may not have caught it, we put. Uh, Put a little request out to see if we could get me any dates. Yes. Literally, literally no responses. No response. But I did find a date anyway. And yes. Not only did I find a date, but she's here she's right now. Here. Special she's here. Special guest. So, she's here right now. So, Mum, do you want to introduce yeah. yourself? <laughs> <laughs> it's lovely to be here with you, boy. Oh, oh, God, you weren't even supposed to be here, were you? Do you want to tell everyone yeah. why you're oh. still staying around my house oh, and you're here? Well, uh, um, Dan's stepmom kindly booked the flights yeah. for me on Dan's behalf, and uh, neither of us old idiots realised that she booked me to the 31st of August instead of... So she's... Yeah, luckily so she's going home tomorrow, July. though. We, we, Jamie we managed had to... Sh- yeah. 
Yeah. Yeah. So, so what happened was, Jamie, I couldn't find Jamie a date for the premiere, so Jamie's mum kindly stepped in and, and helped him. Probably like many, the many, many a times over the years you've had to step in and console him after he's gone out on dates and it's never come of anything. <laughs> he never went out much. You're he never went out much, did he? Gained a lot, this. yeah. Yeah. I'm just uh, trying, you carry on talking, guys, because I'm trying to find Tom Zanetti's tune while he's tuned in, guys. Yeah, so you so, carry on talking. Uh, yeah, so as fun as that was, we all had a great time, didn't we? Everyone um, was really buzzing for the film. The atmosphere was great. The after party was great. Can't say enough. You spent a long time talking to intern Carlos as well, didn't yes. you? Oh, he's smashing, isn't yeah, he? Yeah, he's a very, smashing guy. Very nice uh, man. Smashing guy. Um, yeah, it was great But fun. Uh, But the, the only problem was that it got to about 10, 30, 11. Yeah. You know, had Your a couple of Your mum and my mum are quite similar, aren't they? They end the nights in similar ways, didn't they? How does she end the night? Legless. Yeah. No, so, so, so yeah. <laughs> Yeah, it hit 10, 30, 11, and I'm like, my, you know, I've got work tomorrow. We've had a really lovely time. We've been there since about six. We've had a, you know, a, a skimful, um, and I'm trying to get rid of her, and uh, or tr not trying to get rid of her, well, kind of am, but just trying to go home. Anyway, you know, three hours later, we're walking through Leicester Square. It's dead. She's got broken shoes. She's tracking her broken shoes. I'm trying <laughs> to lead her to an Uber. <laughs> Uh, and yeah, that ruined my day. No, listen, listen. I live in the middle of nowhere in rural Spain. The most exciting thing that's happened to me all year is a wild boar running out in front of my car. I was in Leicester Square. There were beautiful people. There were famous people. We were having a premiere. <laughs> She's and Dan was there as well. And you, you ended know. up you ended up having a proper naughty sesh, didn't you? I had a wonderful time. Thank you. Very we're going to talk about Literally, she stayed until after Dan had. It was empty. Listen, we're going to go back to this in a second because I'm going to get some music on because uh, these people. What to find out a little bit more I can tell about Jamie my co-host up bringing here some embarrassing stories you must you must have none on me you're not allowed any on me Tom this one's for you if you're still tuned in out there this is Tom Zanetti's new track C Gloria think of something funny and really embarrassing that we can say about Jamie anyone that's tuned in on Twitter make sure you tweet me right now and send in your last few shout outs it, this is our last hour I want to get you I want to get you guys on this okay big shout out to Anto Sharp stop it that's going straight in my basket and this one is Tom Zanetti's new tune make it look Good, and it sounds like this. It's about to get naughty on Flex FM. Yeah, yeah, can you hear me? You can hear me? <laughs> oh, we've had a lot of fun tonight. That's wicked. We've got about 50 minutes left. I'm going to try and finish the last, last part of my our show, the Naughty Session. I'm going to try and finish it with Garage. Yay. Garage half hour. I'm, I'm claiming the last tune. All right, that's I'm fine. claiming that, that that's outro fine. tune. Give me, give me a thumbs up. If you're, if you're, if you're live, is Facebook still going good? If, yeah, yeah. Do you know what? This is a shout out to everyone that's tuned in on Facebook because we've had some problems with Sony. Everyone that is now watching on Facebook, everybody click share so we can give our little online finger up to Sony for trying to restrict us. So everyone click share on there. Give us a thumbs up if you're, and on Instagram, give us a thumbs up if you're up for some garage. I've got a couple of tweets I've got to do just quickly before I try and find an embarrassing story from your mum because your mum's in here. I love it. <laughs> right. I had a pet hate. Someone put their pet hate. Jason, or Jack, is it? His pet hate is when you do online shopping and they substitute it for something like, oh no, I didn't, I didn't really understand that. Oh, this is a good one for shopping again. When you go to the checkout and the woman asks you if you want bags and you've got like a whole thing filled full of shopping, that is annoying, isn't it? It's annoying when you don't actually, it's obvious when you have bags and when you don't have bags, yeah. isn't it? But also they say like, do you want bags? Like as if you're going to carry the whole lot on your head. Well, it's also a bit, it's like a shaming tactic, isn't it? Yeah, to, to buy want, bags. Bla yeah, do you want bags, you yeah. plastic-wasting yeah. human? Is that what it is? Oh, well, right. That, I didn't know that. Next time I'm smashing Tesco's up, especially because <laughs> they didn't stock my DVD. So if you go to Tesco's and buy your best clothes, stop it and go to Asda because it's... A fantastic. <laughs> <laughs> I was, I couldn't. Well, I, was, yeah. I was hoping you'd go somewhere good with that, but no. What you got for us, Gloria? It's story, the joke all over. You got, yeah, come on, I want one big embarrassing story about my co-host and cousin Jamie. What you got? Come on. So we're not allowed to talk about when you broke your willy? No, we're not allowed to talk <laughs> oh, Yes. <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> <laughs> got him yeah. got him okay um, no we, she came pre she came prepped to talk about embarrassing stories about you not no, me no. I'm the best no because I've just I've, I've put too much work into this what are you doing to me here? what you got what well, you I'll tell you what I'll tell you what so um so Jamie's little this is kind of embarrassing what about when I took him to my school disco Jesus even when I was at school I couldn't get a dough yes I yes to bring you he took Go me on. to he went to a private school because he had a bit of dough in that and then I, I grew up on a council and I had to fight for a living just for scraps of food <laughs> physical violence I used 
just have to fight and do... Calm you know. down, you were nine. <laughs> yeah, okay, I was nine. And um, So school disco, prep school. Yeah. Off they go to the Valentine's Night Disco. I'm on the PTA, so I have to show prospective parents around. Yeah. And what do they do? They take pictures of the worm and you twirling around, and these kids had never seen anything I like was in there doing Michael Jackson night. dancing at Absolutely. a posh school. Now, I don't mind if you go to a private school. That's fine, but you've got your own dance moves. You ain't never seen a Mickey J dance move. The spin, the kick, landing down in the splits, getting up and nodding at a teacher like she knows. <laughs> Everybody knew for the next five years because all the flats had come out and all they were were pictures of school dues with you on them. Yeah. My son, nowhere. Oh, no. Nowhere to be I'm seen. I'm like the son she's always wanted but never had. Yeah. Mm. I have got a willy one, though, if you want a willy no, one. Yeah, no. Yeah, give us a willy one about Jamie. No, 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 okay. no, 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 no. So, no. <laughs> so, he's, so, he's, so he's watching the telly. He's only about three or four. And he's got a little toy called Ruru, which was a little Rudolph the Red Nose. <laughs> this is going to be good. And uh, I never said a word. I walked in and he's flicking his little willy with it. And I still never said a word. <laughs> and he never took his eyes off the telly. He said, listen, mum, it's mine and I'm playing with it as much as I oh, like. Oh, when you were young, you <laughs> boned your roo-roo in front of your mum. What is it, a little cow? This, this is a little Rudolph the red nose right? You banged Rudolph when you was a kid in front of your mum. <laughs> Don't even let him respond. Don't even let this is Dizzy Rascal with hype. <laughs> Live on Flex FM, and it makes me feel naughty. Yeah, that was uh, that was probably one of my most favourite bits of the show so far. That was good fun. I'm that terrified was. of how, what's that, next. That's mad, that is. That's mad. I mean, oh, God. That's mad. Thanks to everyone that's commenting loads of tweets saying, uh, Jamie, the Rudolph Ragger. That's a good one. <laughs> uh, there's, there's loads coming in. About Do you know what she said to me the other day? We were out the other day. Yeah. Uh, just grabbing a pizza yeah. uh, round near my area, couldn't be bothered to cook, whatever. Anyway, so we get a pizza. I'm on my phone. She starts getting a bit aggy about it. Yeah. Who are you talking to? I said, I'm talking to my friend Ben. Uh, it was his birthday, just a couple of back and forth, you know, yeah. normal stuff. Anyway, and she goes, hey, Remind me how you met Ben again? And oh god, I shouldn't have started this because now I make. Anyway, uh, I met Ben. Oh my uh, god! When did I was you think playing, this maybe Ben's well, a I, I used to play a game called Counter Strike oh. when I was about fifteen, and used to travel around and go to tournaments and stuff with a team. And in that team was a guy called Ben, who I met online, and we've been friends in real life ever since. For like, you know, wait, wait, almost, can I just stop this? Can I just stop this a sec? No, just oh, stop. Let me stop god. it a sec. So your mum asked you who was texting you, and it was a guy called Ben that you met online. <laughs> well, hang on a second. Wait hang till on. you hear what I said. Yeah, so, I, yeah, but I met him online when I was, God, this is bad, 15. He was also Whoa, young. How was old was he, young. 45? Uh, no, no, and we used to play games together. And I we bet became, you did, hide we the became, sausage. We became friends after that. Let me get through this, man. Anyway, and she <laughs> says, and she says, after I regale this story to her, she says, God, man, it's really tragic how you can meet a guy online, but not a girl, eh? <laughs> oh, <laughs> it's true, though. It's, right. it's just constant burns. It's constant burns. She's talking about the diet she's on. And I said, oh, God, maybe I need to this get onto that much. because I've, is, I've, this... I've put on a little bit of weight and I kind of rub my belly. And she said, I wouldn't worry about that. I'd be worried about your double chin. <laughs> oh, so. <laughs> no wonder I want her out of my house. <laughs> no is... wonder I'm so broken. Uh, yeah. yeah. Jesus. Yeah. Uh, so, what was his name again? The guy that you met online when you were 15? Ben. Ben. <laughs> Bend over. <laughs> Stop it. Go on. No, but you know, Jamie's always had a very, you know, what's weird. the word? Not weird. No, Solo. No, uh, I'd say healthy relationship with, with himself. His, with his willy. I bet and, he has. Um, <laughs> it, it's it's just a shame no one else wants to have a relationship. <laughs> oh my god, that's willy. coming from your mum. This is bad. This is this bad. Is All right, bad. I'm going to crack on with another song because you know this. I don't know. This has just got weird. This week we're going to have to call this one that. But Dan's naughty sesh with Jamie's unfortunately very lonely willy. And this one's dedicated <laughs> to you. It's called MK17. Let's hope it cheers up your little winkle. Here we go. Is there any geek on Flex FM? Oh, it's been good fun, man. I can't believe we've only got half an hour left. And, you know, you've enjoyed it, haven't you, Jamie? Oh, I don't know, man. Bittersweet. Bittersweet. I'm having a great time, but then I'm also the butt of the joke. You so are. I kind of feel like you. Are. you yeah, guess. that's what, you know, that's sometimes. But there might be, you never know, there might be a load of women out there that are tuned in that are keen to get hold of you now that but they've heard about your how good you are with... Rudolph the red. Why did he have a red nose? Because Jamie was rubbing him. <laughs> <up against> him. <laughs> it was raw. No. Uh, we've got we've got uh, Go Mark on. Mark on Facebook. How much do you cousin look like Seth Rogen? He is God. That's I've, what I call do you know him. how many times I've heard that. Just slimmer. 
better looking and smokes more weed <laughs> no i don't touch the stuff how yeah, dare yeah. you how dare you uh you sam got, says uh just watch your film mate it's great Wicked. um and we've got david on twitter just saying how uh glad he is that you're on the radio and you're doing well for yourself after you got rinsed by the media no thank you um, thank you very much but I'm yeah back it. to your back to your back to you we've yes. had more yeah. too much about you back to you and i just want to say before we get onto the film yeah just just a quick note on the premiere the funniest bit was when you couldn't get into your own after party. That wasn't funny, funny, really. So, uh, so basically, quick recap. I got in. Every, oh, yeah, you got in, I know. Um, <laughs> so everyone piled out of the uh, cinema. Premium. Yeah, they've, uh, they've had a good time. And the bar that they were doing the after party, that is spitting distance away. So anyway, everyone mills over, queues up. But the bouncer isn't liking it because some people have invites on their phone, some people have paper invites, some people have lost yeah, them. Yeah, and he had to, do, he had to do some work. He had to do some work. Yeah, he had to do some work. Anyway, so there's loads of people piled up. There's only us lot going in. And uh, and Dan walks over in his suit covered in blood um, and leans over and goes something along the lines of our mate. Don't, you know, don't worry, let him in. We're on the second floor, blah, blah, blah. And he just looks at Dan deadpan and goes... And who are you? Yeah. <laughs> oh. And oh. everyone just burst out laughing. Yeah, it was laughed. the best part of the night. It was everyone, the best everyone laughed till I tested his chin and sparked some clean out. Uh, you didn't, mate. No, I you didn't. Know, I begged him to let me under yeah, my breath. I was like, mate, it's my film. Don't embarrass me, please. <laughs> Can you just let us in? So, yeah, so we went in. Claw, you've seen the film. What did you think? I, I absolutely loved it. And Thank I'm you. not just saying that because you were in it. I try to be subjective. Mm. It was... I thought it was produced beautifully. Yeah. It was funny. Yes. It was it was just great fun from beginning to end. It is what it is. Yeah, it is what it so is. So you take the mic out of me, your own son, and you'll just give him She never wanted you. She always <laughs> wanted a good looking, semi famous young you know guy that didn't well, where are we going to find one of those don't now? make me go back to your first turtleneck no all right. stop it okay. uh, <laughs> <laughs> i know, know what, what that means yeah. yeah let's not talk about that no, no. Um, i love the film it does what it says on the can it is well worth a watch so everybody if you haven't seen it yeah. you've got to see it he, the boy done good thank God, you that's thank a great you. plug my mum uh, my mum's going to come in on the radio station soon as well and hopefully she'll be mean to you as well but my mum was wicked D did you see her down at, down at, we were all on the balcony she was down at Leicester Square dancing with the crowds she's quite my mum's a mentalist she normally gets thrown out of do so she was there as well so it was a good night all round just so you know Gloria I have got another song out at the moment and it's called Two Step Skank and I'm going to play it now <laughs> to open, just to open up so it's just another thing that you, your son didn't do <laughs> but you know what he did do rub himself against his old Rudolph toy here we go two steps gang to kick us off with our garage I'm at done. half hour I'm just done mate. yeah Oh man, I'm having good fun tonight. This is Two Steps Gank, and if you know your garage songs, you'll be able to notice a lot of the words in this are garage song titles, because I love my garage. Oh man. Yeah, Two Steps Gank. Are you done now, read the man? <laughs> oh, come on. Hey, I remember when I was at school, that's MC Vapor. I know. Do you know what I mean? He just got me into it, and then he said to me, Do you know what, Dan? You're a cracking MC, like you spit bars. He said, You're good looking. He said, Go for it, release some songs. He never said that. He said, Don't do it. It's embarrassing, but if you want to. But you know what? They're out there, <laughs> and they're good fun. Are you enjoying yourself, Gloria? No, I'm having a great time. What, what are they saying about us on uh, there, Jamie? We've got Gracie, Jamie's mum's a legend. <laughs> uh, Phil says, Gloria is so well-spoken, you sure related to Dapper. I mean, barely. <laughs> barely. <laughs> my, my late father was, was, he, was her br brother. Yes. That's, so, yeah. Yes, that makes me an O'Reilly. Yeah, that makes me an O'Reilly as well. So there you go. DNA, well, of mate. course. DNA. DNA. Unfortunately, she's related to, you're related to her. She's your mother. And, you know, she just told a story about you on air that's probably going to ruin your career. <laughs> what career? Okay. Let's be honest. I'm already on the radio with you. Yeah. <laughs> if, if I was ever going to have a career, it failed, What's failed going on day on? one. So, uh, like I was saying, uh, I read a lot of reviews online and actually people are you know quite enjoying your film like mum like said uh, it's a few uh, you know it does what it says on the tin bit of bit of ron seal job um have you got but, them there uh, have you got some but, well no i was talking about the critic reviews but i also pulled some from normal people yeah okay. so so i thought we'd you know go, go through a few of them yeah, so this one's from imdb it says funny from start to finish the film does remind me of great british comedy of old interesting co oh that's from you mum <laughs> <laughs> yeah it is. is that yours <laughs> yeah did you review it yeah i'll get up there so that's it. It was well written. Okay, you okay, next one. It. We got, we got, uh, I like this one. Best British homocorridor. God. God. 
best. Yeah. She's got me in a. I mean, yeah, she's embarrassing. You, know I mean. you can't stop Don't thinking worry, about gonna, Rudolph, can you? Her after the show, uh, <laughs> best British horror comedy since sliced bread, which doesn't it doesn't make sense. But good effort there, mate. Okay, that's um, nice. The story didn't make much, much sense, but I get it. It's a horror comedy. Just roll with it, which is an honest one. Well, I don't know. I don't know. You are, mate. That, that didn't, didn't couldn't understand stories. No, but this is simple. by far my favourite. This is by far my favourite. Go on, then. Terry Stone's cameo was the only highlight. <laughs> oh, oh, I'll kick Bash Granny out of you and a couple of your friends. Right, DJ Luck, MC Neat, Master Blaster, let's crack on with the garage. We're going to keep the garage going. Tweet us, this is your last chance. Every single person that tweets me now, at Dapper Laughs, every one of you that tweets me, I'm going to read out before the end of the show. We've got half hour left. Let's have some fun. Garage, here we go. Old school, listen. <laughs> Can I do that? Let's go. Run, come, get around. Well, I mean, you can try. <laughs> <laughs> so proper naughty, sir. Yeah, man. Oh, do you know what? I've, I've had such a good week this week, just with everything that's going on. I'm just keeping an eye out here because we've had loads of people. We've had about 4,000 people in total tuning in through the, um, through the Instagram. So I want to say a massive shout-out to the Instagram. Big shout-out to everyone. Give us a little wave if you want to shout-out. I'll try and get them in in a minute. Uh, shout-out. It's out. a shame we can't get it on the laptop. No, and, no. And, like, yeah. Get them involved. Mm. Uh, Gracie Lawson, big shout-out to you listening from Wales. Uh, David, listening all the way from up in Scotland. We've got a couple of people over in Spain having a beer. Mitch, having a beer in Spain, tuned in. A couple of people in Ibiza. What are you doing listening to us while you're in Ibiza? You should be down Ket Cove, off your rocker, talking to a chair. Don't worry about that. And we've got the same geezers that were listening. I'm not going to say what the prison is because I ain't a grass. But we've got the same geezers that are tuned in. Well, let's just say they're locked on from uh, from this prison. They're listening every week. So a big shout out to you boys. You sent a picture through, which I can't describe what you're doing. But it looks like you're having fun. So yeah, remember, so we're coming up to the end of the show-ish, yeah. or the final portion, so at Flex FM on all the socials. Questions. I'd love to see hear more Dear Dappers coming in. Yes, you know? so do I. Yeah, some Dear Dappers. We have yeah. a wealth of experience between us, you know? Um, yes. So we can give you all the advice anyone would ever need. Yes, yes, okay. Um, so yeah, get in touch, get in touch with that. Also... Yeah, uh, you know uh, uh, the past couple of shows, and I've I've heard some good feedback about this. We've been doing some riddles and stuff for you, haven't we? Just to, just just Are stretch your grey matter, uh, grey matter a little bit. Uh, but no, I thought since you know you've now released a movie, yes. you are you are you know in the horror genre mm -hmm. that maybe we should do some just some questions. Just on, don't worry, they're trivia. not they're not here to catch you out. They're oh, not here to some catch trivia. You out. Okay, give us some so, trivia. What do you think? And everyone online can get involved yes. as well, but don't Google it because that just takes the fun out of it. So, what do you think is the highest grossing horror film of all time? <laughs> now, it's an obvious one. If you want a song to think about it, but just nah, think about it. I'm going to chuck it out there first of all, Les uh, Lesbian Vampire Killers, because if who would not want to watch that? I don't know if you know about this one, Gloria, but they're they're lesbians and they kill vampires, and then sometimes a va you know there's a bit of a crossover, and you know that's that, that's one. And uh, okay, let's play a song, and we'll try and we'll find out. We'll come back to that. We'll one. come back to that. Here we go. This is Artful Dodger Rewind with a crowd say Bo Schlechter. Why don't you worry about that? What is the highest grossing? Horror film. Come on, talk to me. Well, I've got uh, a can couple I put, of... So can I say what I want to yeah, think on, it is? say? Yeah, go on, say it, yeah. I think it's The Conjuring. The Conjuring. Okay, you've just because you've seen that on there, haven't you? <laughs> uh, no, there have been uh, a couple come through on Facebook saying yeah. the same. Uh, a couple of people have said it, and I think by that they mean knew it, uh, and I think they're wrong. I mean, I didn't put a lot of research into this, I'll be I honest, did. but I, leave the, I believe The Exorcist is no. actually the highest grossing is it actually film really? of all time. Yes, horror film of all time. Um, is it really? But is of it course, really? it's, it's definitely going to be fanged up in like a week, isn't it? Well, it is if, if people Tesco keep, take if people, it. Well, no, Tesco <laughs> don't need to take it because everyone's tweeting me pictures. There are as the buying it. So you're done the red bag. Whoa. Right. <laughs> Let me see if I can get this right now because I'm mixing I'm mixing all these in. Here we go. DJ Luck, MC Neat with mixing, a little bit of light. Mixing is a strong word. <laughs> it is. This has got to be, I think, uh, I mean, tell me if you think I'm wrong. Is this not... This is iconic. This, this is the most iconic, iconic garage. Do you have any oxide neutrino? Because uh, considering we play a lot of garage. It's a proper naughty set. Yeah, man. Oi, it's going off now. Uh, everyone on the Instagram. That yeah, that's one fair. of the best ones. Gloria, Gloria. Yes, do you know about Garage? Isn't that where you put your car, love? 
<laughs> it's where you put all your old toys when you grow up, like the Rudolph, the Red Nose Rain. Oh, uh, not. Perhaps, perhaps you should try and get one in the studio from next week. Bring so, back good memories. But have you heard of Garage? Two step, two step in. Yeah, of course. Yeah, a bit of garage. Because when I was going, I'm old, not dead. No, I know. Yeah, but you know, you know, no. But I'm just. Have you ever, you ever two step to a bit of garage in your time? No. Because like, that's what the ladies, me and the like, you know, girls, guys, club two step in. We see each other across the bar. You two step, and you kind of two step. This is ten years ago, mind. Two two step, and <laughs> Actually, then ten years is being generous. Dan, Dan, you, Dan, yeah? I'm living in a world with one working hip and two teeth, and your dating material. Get yeah. Grip. All right. Okay. All right. We've got Jay on Twitter says Dapper and Seth, you are legends on radio. Oh wow! Seth wishes he looked this good. <laughs> and so does Dan. To be fair, but. So, um, so yeah, as I'm on the garage hype and I love my garage, um, I think this is one of the most iconic tunes as well. Oh, hold on a second, it's moved. Did you play with this? This is moved. I'm gonna, I'm gonna say something, Jamie, quickly while I move this. Have you, uh, have you moved it? You've moved uh, it. No, I didn't. It. You were the one that was playing around with it before, but oh no, I found it. Uh, yeah, this is this is one of the most iconic yeah. garage acts that I don't think we've played yet. I don't despite think we the have fact played that yet. Most of our shows are all about. Garage. You'll like this one so, because yeah. they done they done something crazy with this, right? Back in the day, there was like some beef, not beef, but I mean, it was like there's loads of different characters, so solid, and then heartless and stuff like that, and they were all trying to make cool tunes. And this, these guys, they sampled. Remember Casualty back in the day? Casualty, the, the, yeah, the yeah, 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 Casualty. Yeah. yeah, they sampled a bit of that and put it into it. You didn't, you know, you wouldn't think that it would work. Just play it, just play it. Oxide Neutrino. This was a number one and all, and this is bound for the reload, and it makes me want to go absolutely mental and nut someone straight in the forehead. Okay. Let's Play it, Oxide Neutrino, bound for the reload. Hey! Get up and get dancing to this one. Wave your hands in the air unless you're driving, keep them on the steering wheel, but let's go mad. Hey! Bound for the bomb, bound for the reload. 